Hi, YouTubies! It's me, Zach. Hi, I'm back from my vacation. I will say, if you were on the actual Twitch, you did miss uh, one hour and 21 minutes of me talking about my little vacation <laughs> to to uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Um, so, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So, today, oh yeah, you also missed some very, <laughs> very attractive... Uh, photos of Detective Stabler from Law & Order SVU. Okay. <laughs> also, y'all are being so goofy in the... I told... So, I told the Twitch chat. I was like, oh, before we react to Tabitha from the Southern Wife Everyday Life, like, I just wanted to provide some clarification to the YouTubies and the chat was like, oh my god, Zach is going to lecture the YouTubies. They're in big trouble, mister. And nobody's in trouble. Um, but I do just want to do some, like, expectation settings. Um, setting for, for, like, what to expect. Because what I will say is that the vibes in, in Twitch or on Twitch are a little bit different than the vibes on YouTube, okay? And what I mean by that is that there are so many people uh, that you that you see like right below me. All of these names, most of these names. Some of these are people who are first time Twitch viewers, so they're they're here. They're they're vibing. Whoever, whatever. Uh, but a lot of them are people who have come to my Twitch streams time and time again, and I have like a rapport with them. Um, sometimes it might sound like I'm a little sassy with them. Um, and that's mostly because I have a report them. Some of it also, and, and I think this is also a good clarification, sometimes it's also because, like, I get frustrated, I get irritated, and this is, like, live, besties. We're doing it live, okay? We are doing it live. And so if somebody says something that's irritating or annoying, and I respond in an irritated or annoyed way... That's because I'm irritated and annoyed. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I know you all see me react to, like, Amber Lynn blah, irritated blah, and blah, annoyed. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, get it together, YouTubies. <laughs> so goofy. Thanks for the bits, Diet Sodi. Um, what was I, what was I saying? That totally... <laughs> Totally distracted me. All this to say is you see me react to people on, on the on the screen when I get annoyed and irritated. So it it also checks out that I would probably at some point get irritated with people in the chat too, you know? All of this to say is I got I think a very well meaning comment. Okay. I got a well meaning comment. Actually, I don't if I'm being honest, I don't know that I actually understand it entirely. It's a it's a whole novel of somebody um, who... Oh, God, what did I do? What am I doing here? Well, I'll paraphrase for you. <laughs> it was there. It was there. It was on this particular video. Anyways, this person um, shared that they didn't like my response to a, a user in the Twitch chat named Tregelia, which is Tregelia. I don't think Tregelia is here today, uh, but Tregelia is somebody that's been in my chat many, many times. And Tregelia brought up this, um, this part in this particular stream where I... I responded to Tregelia talking about the beads that Vanessa hauled, and they thought that I responded very rudely to Tregelia, okay? <laughs> and and they related that back to um, how they felt like I treated them rudely, allegedly two years ago, when they brought up um, me, me using the word purge and how I shouldn't use the word purge to um to talk about things because some people in my community might be um like triggered by that and it's really interesting because i i do vaguely recall the the conversation i do not really remember that person specifically or who it was um 
But the thing is, is that, like, I don't know what my response was to them. I don't remember what my response was to them. But the thing about it is, is that I have fully, like, after that conversation, I did fully change, like, my behavior. And I stopped using the word purge. And I even talked about it recently in a YouTube video on my main channel. And so I'm just like, I don't, I don't remember feeling any type of way about, about all of that. Um... But either way, Tregilia Tr is still in the room with us. They are, in fact, actually here today talking in the chat. And then on top of that, I was just like, I wonder what I send to Tregilia. Like, do I need to apologize to Tregilia? I, I, I do remember on this particular day, this one right here, that I was feeling... Like, I was, like, being extra hatery. <laughs> like, I feel like I was sipping the haterade. And so I, I I was like, maybe I did say something really rude and mean. But um, you're going to, you, well, I'll let you, let me, let me just let y'all be the judge, okay? <laughs> I'll let, I'll let you all decide if I was being, um, being rude to Tregelia, okay? Let me make sure it's, I, I'm sure it's loud enough. For that update. Thank you so much for that. Just want to click. It's always me saying something I was <laughs> kid to take apart and make it dirty. Yeah, I didn't realize that they were different sizes. And All right, I, I thought I had it pulled up. How beads are packaged already on a string. It's not like she bought bracelets for her kid to take apart and make other bracelets. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm. See. It's always, it's always me saying something I don't know shit about. And people are like, I just want to clarify that she's doing the right thing. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, um, for that update. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, the, the other thing though is, is that there were clearly other beads that were not packaged like that. Just so we're on the same page. So they might be sometimes packaged like that, but also she showed a lot that weren't packaged like that. So me as a, not a bead enthusiast, I'm sorry I didn't know that. Thank you for the information. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think it did ask me like four or six. Uh, so, so <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I've said meaner things to Amber Lynn. I've said meaner things, sassier things to, to Chantal, Amber Lynn, to Vanessa, probably in this live stream. <laughs> I and like, I don't want to like, uh, negate this person's feelings, but I'm just, you know, I, I, I am confused. La, 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 <laughs> I, I, I am. Wait, wait. These YouTubies didn't experience the infamous five minute silence and it showed. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, it's true. One time, if you, if you're brand new to my Twitch, one time I, I gave the chat the silent treatment for, for five minutes because they were irritating me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just... Zach, do you remember the time you said I was your least favorite here? I do. I said that to you, Diet Saudi? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that was me. I don't think that was me. Um, but either way, I don't want to, like, negate the the experiences of, of this person. Um, but I do want to say... Because you brought up the, the word purge thing, I did really change that about me, probably. I mean, I think there might have been one other person who said something about that to me at some point. But I just I just want you to know, like, I, I did take those things seriously. I, I have no problem, like, changing my language when somebody tells me that they... Um, that they have an issue with, with a word or things like that, because there's so many other ways that we can talk about like, quote unquote, purging something, right. That, that can be not, not that. So that's, that's really not an issue for me. Just like it wasn't an issue for me to, um, stop calling Chantal a bald bigot. Like those things are not an issue because 
I'm a very intelligent person. I I know more than two words. I can I can come up with something else to say. Um, <laughs> also, also it, the thing the things that are happening. Tregilia wasn't here. We started talking about Tregilia. Tregilia popped up in the chat. Then people were like, oh, you really want to see somebody that Zach's been mean and sassy to? You're so lucky that Jordy Flower isn't here because Zach's always so mean to Jordy Flower. And then she literally just popped up in the chat and said, ugh, I'm late. Hi, fam. <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat. I need you to change your language and stop saying S-Q-U asterisk R-T. You don't want me to say squirt anymore? You don't want me to say squirt anymore. Tell me more about that, bestie. I would like to know. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all ears. Oh, I was just thinking. I need some. I need some lip chap. And I just got. I just got some new lip chap in Charleston. Which, by the way, besties, I used this new bag the entire time that we were in Charleston. It worked so well. Where's the lip chap though? <laughs> oh my God, I love Nullspec. Um, so we went to this like honey shop while we were walking around the Savannah Bee Company and I got this sweet tea scented lip chap. Great that you said that, Zach, because I've been meaning to discuss something with you. A few months ago, you referred to, to Maryland as being in the Northeast. I asked politely that you stop referring to Maryland as such. It is not in the Northeast. Well, could you uh, educate me on what part of the, the country you would say that it is from? <laughs> could you Could you tell me? Oh gosh! Now there's a, a there's a dog barking in the the stairwell, and it's triggered Poe. <clears throat> well, actually, not triggered him too bad. She's actually handling it quite well. <clears throat> I actually am not prepared. <laughs> I'm actually not prepared to have the Maryland is in the Northeast conversation again. <laughs> I'm not prepared prepared for that <laughs> um anyways uh i i say all of that stuff with love um i just want i also just want folks to know what the vibe is and i am always welcome to to feedback if you think that i'm being too mean i also which i did say in a, a comment back to this person like i also do think it's like healthy for people to take breaks from stuff so if 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 you are not up to this level of sass like one i appreciate you letting me know i can like i can like take in that feedback and decide if if i agree that i'm being too sassy i don't agree that i was being sassy to tregalia if that if that was missed <laughs> i just want to be clear i i think i was i was not being overly rude to tregalia and and that live stream in particular but i am open to hearing it i mean like i obviously cared enough to go back and like look and see if i actually was or wasn't um so please feel free to give your feedback but i also just like fully want to support people like stepping away if it's too much for you you know which this person had suggested that after i responded to their to to their thing about the word purge that they had they had taken time away from YouTube and or from my YouTube specifically and my Twitch channel, uh, and that's fine. I like want to support everybody and like taking care of themselves and not watching stuff that negatively contributes to their mental health. You know, love love <clears throat> love my cream all wheat wheat. Ghoulish Goose, thanks so much for uh, five months. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That sweet tea lip chap is the most southern hick boondock shit I've seen. This is ridiculous. You said that, not me. I love it. It smells so good. I love sweet tea. <laughs> I love it a lot. I love it a lot. I love it a lot. I was being sassy to you, actually, is what Tregelia said in the chat, by the way. I had to scroll up a little bit. You probably don't see that on screen. Um, what about the, the is a bag a container question? We're not, we're not doing all of this. 
we're not doing all of this. In fact, we gotta watch Tabitha. Y'all, <laughs> we gotta watch Tabitha, which is uh, what we're here to do today. Okay, can we can we all get behind watching some Tabitha? And I did get, so Tabitha was the first reaction that I posted to the, the, um, the reaction upload, re-upload, the Twitch re-upload channel, the Zachary Michael also channel. And so many people are like, Zach, I think, I think you got her name wrong. She, I, I thought I heard her pronounce it Tamra. I don't, where are you getting Tabitha from? <laughs> And I, for some reason, I thought I gave that background and context in, in, a, in, in that video, but I, I clearly didn't. <laughs> I clearly did not. Um, so what you need to know, it, oh, I did give that background in that video. People in the chat are saying I did give that. Uh, people, people in the chat, I got so many comments on that video of people saying... Oh, it was like later in the video. Maybe you edited it out. I didn't. I don't edit anything in these in these Twitch reuploads. I don't. I don't upload any or upload. I don't edit anything in them. Oh, it was it was later in the video. Well, then that makes sense because if I explained it later, then people just probably people probably commented before they got to that part. That's probably what happened. That's actually so common on the YouTubies. People are always commenting before they, they watch the whole video. And a lot of times they'll be like, Zach, you didn't address this. You didn't address that. And I'd just be like, Bessie, you just got to keep watching. <laughs> That's the problem. You just. But I did want to clarify. Her name is Tamara. We call her Tabitha. Because one time we saw somebody comment on her video calling her Tabitha and and she responded back to them and didn't correct them. And I have since also commented on her videos and said, oh my God, Tabitha. <laughs> and she didn't, she didn't correct me. <clears throat> so anyways, we're going to watch this no spend pantry challenge. I want to give too many spoilers from this thumbnail. So let me quickly. Oh, she's outside. Oh. She's looking like destiny. Oh, with this angle. Um, <laughs> but this this video is called "No Waste, No Spend Pantry Challenge." Bar bar, quick and easy meals on a budget. Yes, this is uh, this is Destiny Cook's sister, <laughs> Tabitha Cook. If you've never met her. <laughs> And we love Tabitha Cook. That's how we found her, actually. We found her because she's Destiny's... <laughs> Destiny's sister. <laughs> I I want to see her make a meatloaf over an open fire. Oh, my God. That sounds like a lot. Hello. Oh, girl, I did not ask. I did not ask you to start. In fact, I need to ask the chat. Could you all put... Um, some 69s in the chat so I know that you're ready to get started. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so giggly all of a sudden. I'm, I'm Geely. I'm giggly. Like the, the Mariah Carey movie. <laughs> Y'all know the giggly movie. <laughs> Y'all ever seen giggly? <laughs> the Mariah Carey movie. <laughs> Not you saying, wait, no, wait, no, <laughs> wait, Mariah Carey, no, that was Jennifer Lopez. No, wait, 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 I know, no, Glitter and, and, Glitter and Giggly came out at the same time. I always mix them up in my head. I, oh. <laughs> I always, they were both two bad movies. <laughs> they were, did they not come out at the same time? Wait, did they, did, did Giggly and Glitter not come out at the same time? When, I'm going to look it up right now. Giggly, Giggly the movie. If you don't know what I'm, I'm talking about, Geely. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. Geely, Geely, 
Gig Giggly came out in 2003, starring Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Uh, and then when, when did Glitter come out? Oh, not even the same year. Bestie, what, what is your problem? <laughs> Glitter came out in 2001, allegedly. <laughs> That's around the same time. It's just two years. They were. It's just, it's just two years. It, it was all while I was in. Well, two thousand one. I wasn't in high school yet. Huh. <laughs> Bestie, this YouTube video is gonna be an hour. The YouTubies are experiencing the Twitch experience. It can't be an hour because I have to play Fortnite tonight. <laughs> Fortnite starts at 7, so we're, we're going to do the best we can. Bessie, they have nothing in common other than starring singers and starting with G. Please. Please. That's what you get for making fun of the Claytons. Somebody came into the chat earlier and was like, was like, Zach, you, it's so funny to me how, um, how much, how much, uh, Amber Lynn and the Claytons are a part of your, your soul and your body. And I'm like, who the fuck are the Claytons? And now people are, are getting me on the, <laughs> on mixing up glitter and giggly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Being a movie snob is my bit. Oh, well, then I gotta go. It's time to get started. <laughs> Now, Jordy Flower, why the hell are you in my chat saying I hate pre-cum? Who the fuck is talking about that? Who's talking about that? Oh, also, we gotta be careful. I don't think we can listen to um, the B-roll stuff anymore. Because the last time we listened to T Watch Tabitha, a bunch of stuff got, um, got copyright claimed by other people from the whatever music she uses which i'm like does she credit them in the maybe i should just wait escape maybe i should just if she credits them maybe i should just credit them in my no wait iMovie and epidemics sound oh she has a paid monthly subscription for some music No, I've heard, I think old Vanessa does this too. I think Vanessa does it too where she pays to get the stupid B-roll music. So we, we will not, <laughs> we will not be, um, not be doing that. Has your case cooking video been claimed to? No. Every, every time I ever post anything about case cooking, people are always like, Zach, she's going to get you. I have like two or three videos on my main YouTube channel and now, like, two videos on my Twitch re-upload channel. And it's never been a problem. Okay. And she's she's not come for me. And she wouldn't have a lot of grounds to stand on. I would literally fight her if, if she did. Okay. I would fight Kate in the streets. I would fight Kay's cooking in the streets of London. Or wherever she lives in England. Kay doesn't know how to use YouTube. You're fine. That's what I figure. All right. Um, let <laughs> y'all are fucking disgusting in the chat, by the way, in case it wasn't clear to you. And in, in case it wasn't clear. Anyways, let's watch old Tabitha. Uh, and we'll just skip over the music parts. Cause I don't, I don't need that kind of problem. Trouble challenges, you know, here we go. Hello, everybody. So I She's totally so forgot quiet. to do an intro at the beginning of the week just because it was so busy. But I did not go to the grocery store this week. If you watched Wednesday's video, you've seen that because I did a no-spin meal prep weekly restock. And so... I 
Hey, buddy, you in London? Zach said London is England and England is Britain. That is not what I said at all. I said I would meet her in the streets of London or wherever she lives in England. Isn't London in England? I mean, to be fair, I don't, <laughs> I was like, to be fair, I don't fucking know, but, but I think I'm right. <laughs> I think I'm right, but you do have me, you do have me second guessing. You do, <laughs> you do have me second guessing. <laughs> I can see the YouTube comments now. I don't like the way you spoke to Welsh cat. Well, Deal with it. <laughs> All right. Let, for real, let's get into Tabitha now. I went ahead and just did some delicious suppers from the pantry, from the fridge, and from the freezer. That way we could save us some money. And we, we, didn't, love we didn't need to go to the grocery store. We honestly could go probably. I love that she said... You know what? I totally do normally film an intro in my kitchen at the beginning of the week, and I did forget. So to make up for that, I'm just I'm just gonna go and film outside with the wind blowing. So you can't already hear my 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 quiet ass audio. Um, another week or two, um, but we're out of cheese. <laughs> All of these meals were no cheese meals because we did not have any cheese in the house, which is super funny because y'all know cheese is one thing that we... You, she puts cheese in everything. Y'all, this is, this is, this is fucking news. This is a big deal. There is no cheese in any of these meals. <laughs> no cheese. Live off of, we love cheese, um, but I just rolled with it. Uh... <laughs> I rolled with it. We had some yummy meals. Now, I did only get four. She said, love finds a way. You don't have cheese. Love will find a way. We just rolled with it. I only got four pantry meals for you guys because um, Friday, Saturday, we weren't home. So, um, oh, good to know. we had a wedding that we were working around. So, got four pantry meals to share with you guys. I hope you enjoy and let's get right on into it. All right, we are skipping this part so that they don't copyright claim us on the... <laughs> I forgot about this photo. I forgot about this photo. <laughs> it's just like so funny and out of place in the rest of this intro. <laughs> Let me just take a screenshot real quick. I love that. Although, I want it to be bigger, but that's fine. Just take this quick screenshot. <laughs> Save that for later. <laughs> Save that for later. Save it for later. But one... Oh, what? At first, I had no clue what to call this one. But once I got it all done and everything, it really... Mmm, Italian shells. <laughs> Italian shells. I can't wait to see what makes them Italian. Obviously, they're shells. You call it greasy shells? It does look like there's probably a good amount of little grease on there. <laughs> it probably is. <gasps> the jumbo shells. Didn't the last video we watched have the, the jumbo shells? And she was confused and, and or surprised that the jumbo shells were 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 big reminded me of a Italian oh that was Cherie oh that was Cherie I can't keep these girlies straight mostly because I'm gay Bells, um, like hamburger helper mix that you can get from the store but it's just a really good at home version so I'm just cooking up my ground beef added in some minced onion and some seasoning and I'm just cooking that until it's no longer pink and then I'm just going to drain the grease okay and then I'm going to add in a jar if she drained the grease then how how did so much grease end up on that 
on, on the top of that that pasta part of my homemade spaghetti sauce and then i'm gonna add in a jar like look you, look at all the grease look you can see it now look at it all shiny Jar of water so that was a quart of spaghetti sauce and then i just added in a quart of water and then I oh come here come here nope sit Oh, besties, this is the joy of Twitch. Sit. Okay, come say hi. Come say hi and watch Tabitha. There's a YouTube mom trend of draining the beef grease with paper towels. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that before. Do you smell the peanut butter in my mouth? I had a peanut butter sandwich before we started. I have some big jumbo shells. You could use small shells, big shells, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to add in about half of that box, and then I'm just going to mix everything together. I do add in some more seasonings. I add in some Italian seasonings. Like, this This is grease, right? This is all grease right here? Seasoning, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Just season with your heart. And then I'm just going to cook this on <laughs> season with your heart. Season with your heart is like the, the runner up to do what works for you and your family. Cause it's just like, I don't have to tell you or like prove that I have any skill when it comes to like, uh, you know, knowing how to use seasonings and <laughs> things like that. I just season with my heart. I just, I just, Y'all are, y'all are dark-sided in the chat right now. Y'all, you, you season with your, your, your hoo-ha. You season with your farts. Dark-sided. Low until those noodles are cooked through and it starts to thicken up. What exactly is thickening the sauce up? How, why are you Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Y'all, this one was so good. Everybody loved it. And I will definitely remember this recipe for the future. I will try to find like inspirational recipes. So if you are a person that needs measurements and exact recipes, I will try to have something down below. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what does she mean? Inspirational recipes. I was like, is she talking about like, live laugh love recipes <laughs> she's talking about like pinterest quote quote recipes but she means like she didn't have a recipe for this but she'll try to find a recipe similar to this well girl that's why you could have just told us how much how much of the seasonings you put in your in your your soup slop whatever to begin with i mean also to be clear i i do give tabitha a hard time but like most of the things that she makes, I would probably eat, you know. I'm not saying it's going to be the best thing in the world, but I would eat this. This is basically spaghetti, kind of, you know. It's basically spaghetti, except she has jumbo shells. Inspir inspirational, she just has, like, be who you want to be at a quarter cup of water. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's why I was confused. But that's one of the good things about cooking from your pantry is you're using what you have on hand, making delicious food for your family, and sometimes these are the best meals that we feed our family. Was it the was it the best meal you ever had? This pack of chicken thighs. I dare you to eat the burger she made in this video. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, I'm not gay, but definitely stupid. Can someone help me find the instructions on how to subscribe with Prime? I got you, bestie. I got you. It's right here. It's right there in the chat. Just for you, Mallory. Was it given? Also, these thighs, I don't, listen, I'm going to hope that these thighs look the color that they look because she's filming with her camera and not her iPhone or her iPhone and not her camera. You know, I, I'm hoping she's having a, a Amberlynn, the color doesn't look right situation type of deal because these chicken thighs do look a questionable color on the screen. <laughs> they really do. They really are looking a little sussy. To me and it actually came already frozen so i knew when i thought it out i was gonna have to go ahead and use it within that you know a couple days they already um, came i couldn't refreeze it um it's not good to refreeze meat 
um, like, you know, when you thaw it out, you can cook it and then refreeze it, um, but it's not, you know, good to refreeze something that's already frozen, if that makes sense. I don't think it's good for it to look the way that it does, <laughs> Bestie. I do have concerns about these chicken thighs. And they do look real concerning. So I knew when I was thawing this out that I was going to have oh, to divide ooh, it up. I, look, look at that big old meat chunk. <laughs> look at that big old chunk of meat. Ended up dividing it up into two separate meals for this video and for the week. Um, I did barbecue chicken. I worked at KFC for years and I can say without a doubt I would eat that. You would eat this, this chicken. That's fine. Eat it, bestie. I don't care. And then I also did. I just think it looks chicken, funny. Which you guys will see in just a second. <laughs> just, um, but I mean, she's obviously, I would think, still alive if she was able to edit and post this video. You know, chicken was so good. I did not like. I was a little worried about the ice crystals, but after thawing it out, it was perfect, and it was a big free pack. Oh, of you meant you meant you wouldn't eat that. Okay, that's that's an important typo. That that. <laughs> That definitely changes, that typo changes the meaning. The chicken for us, so that helped us save a ton of money. I did the grilled barbecue chicken. Wait, where was, where was the recipe for this chicken? Oh, she just, th there was, a, she hasn't done the recipe yet. She was just showing us her picking apart this frozen, questionable looking chicken thighs. Okay. So we got this grilled barbecue chicken. First, y'all know barbecue chicken is one of my favorite meals besides is it? pork shoulder, like grilled pork shoulder. Um, barbecue chicken is right there in second place. <laughs> so I took one of those bags of thighs that I, you know, was dividing up and I'm just adding in some W sauce the and then w just sauce. some um, seasoning. It's just like an all purpose barbecue seasoning. Honestly, it's our favorite. Um, I will try to find it on Amazon and link it down below, but it's from, L I think it's Lane's. That's the brand. I may be wrong, um, but it's called Spellbound. And Ooh. we literally just... Witchcraft? Witchcraft and my barbecue chicken? Bought four bottles of it. Like, it is our favorite. So I'm just kind of going to marinate that chicken for about 30 minutes to an hour in the fridge with that... What What are these? What? What is this? Are these like frozen twice baked potatoes? W sauce and that seasoning, it's just gonna help lock in that flavor. And then we had some um, potato skins or like loaded, half loaded potatoes that I made forever ago. And as you wait, 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 potato skins are like loaded, half loaded wait. potatoes that I made. Look, wait, look at that. Wait, um, the next, skins the next one that like comes out, loaded, half loaded potatoes. That I look at, look at, look at this right here. <laughs> look at this. Why, why does it look like that? Is that, is that, are those ice crystals? I, had, I don't think that's going to be good. I don't think that's probably going to be good. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I don't, I don't, I think that's some freezer burn. I think that's what that is. I made forever ago, and as you can see, there is a lot of ice crystals on this. There sure they is. They were definitely on the verge of freezer burn, and I'm glad I was. On the verge? <laughs> what do you mean on the verge, bestie? Th those are freezer burnt. I was able to pull them out of my deep freeze and use them up, and everybody really liked these. So this is something that I'm probably going to make again. I'm just... It does have cheese. It does solve the problem of no cheese. <laughs> it really does. To have in the freezer ready to go. And then to go along with that as well, I wanted to try our canned corn. This year was the first year that I tried canning corn. And How after it trying work? it, y'all, I like it better. We... I do. I like it better than freezing it. So for now on, I'm probably just going to well, can damn. it because I really like it and it's going to, well, you know, be shelf stable. And Jasmine, not you being technical in, in the chat. That's a jar. <laughs> to be honest though, that's a, that's a Zachary Michael nitpick. So you, you learn from the best. You learn from the best, Jasmine. It's not going to take up freezer space for next year. So that's definitely one thing I'm going to make sure to do next year is to can my corn. So now we're going to go ahead and get this chicken uh, going. I'm just uh, getting. Oh, I know you're not. 
I know you're not. Please, we just need to finish this. We just need to finish this one video. Please. And it going on the grill, and we're just going to cook it until it's cooked through. Internal temperature of cooked chicken is 165. She she loves to let y'all know what the temperature needs to be, and I appreciate that. Even though, even though these chicken thighs were already in a questionable state, I'm glad you're making sure the internal temp is getting where it needs to be. And then I like to brush on some barbecue sauce um, about five or so minutes till just so it kind of gets cooked in. But that's it. Barbecue chicken is one of my favorites. No washing chicken. Bessie, what we're not going to do, what we're not going to do is have a washing chicken conversation today. <laughs> I do not have the time. I do not have the time. We've already had it. Plus... Plus, you don't even you don't even know if she did or didn't because she does she's not necessarily going to show every single step, you know. Um, I knew Winston wasn't going to eat the chicken thighs, and so I did pull out a pack of hot dogs that I had in my freezer, so that way he had something to eat as well. Those are some huge but ass hot dogs. Came from the house, and we didn't. Those are some thick hot dogs, you know. And spend, you know, anything. I dropped a hot dog. Y'all see that? I forgot about that. I forgot I had dropped a hot dog and it rolled right off the back porch. <laughs> <laughs> but this was such a good pantry meal. Like very filling, delicious. And we didn't spend anything this week to make this meal. I mean, you spent money at some point. I That's what I don't understand about this concept is like, I get it. You didn't spend any additional money this week, but, but this shit wasn't free. <laughs> this shit wasn't free. Also, why are you licking the desk? You're so goofy. Judy, you want to say hi? Where are you at, babe girl? Oh, no, she's getting comfy. <laughs> she's getting comfy. Did I mute her? Wait, where's the... Where's the sound? Oh, wait, this is just... Wait, we don't need to... We don't need the royalty-free music or whatever. Bugs the cold. Here is our delicious spread. We got the barbecue chicken, I mean, the hot dogs. If if I didn't know what that chicken looked like before it was cooked, I would cooked, I would eat it, you know. The corn and then our potato skins. This is just a reminder that until you try something yourself, you're not going to know if your family actually likes it or not because there were so many mixed opinions on that canned corn and y'all, we loved it. What <laughs> Oh, mixed opinions from other people that have done it. Also, that canned corn looks kind of sus. Honestly, that, that why why are some of the 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 kernels like a uh, a yellow yellow, and then this one like right here, for instance, is looking very gray and beige. You know, do you do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I would eat the chicken though if For it was different bag, chicken. For that other bag chicken thighs, I did honey garlic chicken. This is definitely one of our favorites. We've had this several times. Okay. And it is a super quick and easy crock pot meal. I'm just going to go ahead and add that bag of chicken thighs in there. Now, I choose not to cut off the fat because it normally cooks down and I honestly can't tell that it's in there. But that is up to you. If you need to cut it off, definitely do that. Here I'm making the... Do what works for you and your family. Sauce that goes over the chicken. The comments on the YouTubes is going to tell you it's a mix of yellow corn and white corn. Oh, you're probably right. You're probably right. Thanks for that feedback. I appreciate that. Chicken, um, garlic, other seasonings, ketchup, uh, soy sauce. That's the other thing to keep in mind if you're on the YouTubies. I know, listen, I don't ever claim to be perfect. I'm just out here watching something that I enjoy, you know? I'm just out here to watch... My girly Tabitha makes some, some things. It works for her and her family, and I love that for her, you know? It doesn't have to work for me and my family. Sauce, honey, I think that's it. But y'all can find the recipe link down below. She said, I don't have time to tell you what the actual recipe is. Just go look at what I have linked down below. I feel like this would probably be fine too. Again, without oh, I shouldn't. I should probably not be letting it run the the B roll music. 
Because <laughs> she's going to get me. She's going to get me on the, the old YouTubies. Yeah, they're make sure. I'm going to add that sauce right on top of those chicken thighs and just mix everything together make sure they're well coated. And then I'm going to put the lid on this and we're just going to let this cook for about four to six hours. Chicken thighs do not take long at all. They are super easy and they are one of my favorites for the four to six hours and it doesn't take long at all. What, <laughs> what do you mean? I have a complaint. I don't appreciate the false advertising on your schedule this week. Whom's do I talk to about this? Okay, Wauma has entered the chat. <laughs> and Wauma, um, Wauma likes to make edits to my, my, my schedule. My schedule. That's what they say in London, right? Schedule. Um, so here's, here's this week's weekly, weekly. There is no wifey takeover happening. <laughs> wifey is not is not gonna be here it's not happening <laughs> actually though noel did just text me that they were on the way home um so you might get i it's i didn't realize it's 6 6 p.m we gotta keep it pushing uh wauma thank you so much for our weekly edit of the schedule i appreciate it so so much thank you so much um but also this is the original this is Wauma, this is me. This is Wauma, this is me, this is Tabitha. The crock pot especially because they get so tender and they just fall right apart. Go ahead and fix. We are gonna be serving this chicken over some rice. So okay. now that it is about time to eat, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the rice. Now, cooking rice has honestly always been a struggle of mine. I don't know if y'all have noticed that. Like here recently, I have been making it a lot more because I finally found a recipe that I love and it doesn't stick. And like the way that this, re the way that you make it, it's just, it's always perfect. Um, but for years, I always just, I always cooked minute rice. Can we just can we just get get Tabitha a, a rice cooker, or does she own an Instapot? Honestly, we have an Instapot, and that's how we make all of our rice. Like I would just love that for her. It would be so easy, and it is cooked perfectly every time with little effort on your part. You just gotta set it and forget it. Because rice was a struggle for me <laughs> you don't even have to you don't even have, you don't have to sit here stir don't do any of whatever this is that she's you don't have to do any of it and so i'm so glad that i finally found a recipe i will make sure to have it linked down below but this recipe has always worked for me it's always super soft and it is perfect okay great get a rice cooker anyways <laughs> i really think she would love it she would she would really enjoy it i think now that the chicken is done, I'm just going to... Didn't she say the fat melts off and you can't taste... What do you call this? What do you call this right here? Is that not the fat? Break it up with my tongs. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of a corn... Zach, um, actually not everyone can afford a rice cooker. Okay, then don't get one. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just suggesting that she could... She would really appreciate it as a as a... As a mom and a housewife and somebody who cooks a lot for her family, it would be a good investment is all I'm saying. I'm going to start slurry just to get that consistency that I'm looking for, um, just to kind of thicken that up a little bit. Yeah, thicken it up. Thicken it up, Tabby. Okay. Well, to get rid of the zucchini. Luke Ooh, said if zucchini! I put a saute up. Zucchini as well. Wait, I'm trying not to. I'm trying. Let me just talk I'm over the, the, the music. I'm also going to saute up some zucchini as well to get rid of the zucchini. Luke said if I fix zucchini over the next couple months that he's gonna, probably going to divorce me because we've had so much zucchini as a side dish or in muffins or in bread. He said, I'm not eating zucchini again for a while. Your, your husband said he'll divorce you over the zucchini? Over the zucchini? Are you serious? Tell his ass to cook. That's what I would say. Oh, you don't like it? How about you cook? Okay. How about you cook? <laughs> I think it's just a joke. She's laughing. She's laughing. We're in bread. He said, I'm not eating zucchini again for a while. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. But I cooked up the zucchini. That, uh, her, her husband threatening to divorce her if she doesn't make food he likes. 
that that's what works for her and her family i'm adding in some minced onions i think there was some olive oil or butter you choose whichever one and then i just did garlic powder onion powder salt pepper paprika season oh. with your heart and then i just let that cook down season and with your heart. it's one of my favorite sides but okay clearly i can't fix it anymore for a while he cool. is burnt out on clearly zucchini. Here is everything. I did add some sesame seeds into the chicken. I did forget to get that on camera. Oh, with that's everything. too bad. I even topped mine with extra sesame seeds, but this was so good. Okay. Now, what's the last? Burgers is always a good <laughs> go-to. <laughs> These are burgers? <laughs> this is a... <laughs> A burger? This is a burger? Bestie, a, a, for, first of all, why is it in a tortilla? Why, why is it in a tortilla? Think of all that looks like a rock. It's giving rock to me. <laughs> oh my God. Would I eat it? I got to see how she makes it. It, it, <laughs> I'm sure it's edible. I just don't understand. And then, like, no, and I guess if you want to go for this taco vibe, if you don't have, like, hamburger buds, whatever. Okay, but, like, are, are we putting condiments on it? Lettuce, tomato, ketchup, God forbid, mustard, pickle, onion. But, y'all, we were definitely missing the cheese on this one. <laughs> But I did fix some mac and cheese to kind of balance that out. And then I had like a half a bag of green beans in the freezer that I needed to use up. So Now this is a debate. Is it still a burger if it's in a tortilla? I'm going to say no, to be honest with you. This, this is different than the sandwich debate. Like when I think of a hamburger, it needs a hamburger bun. And let, and let, and honestly truly if you're not gonna have a hamburger bun then just do a low carb burger with like like a lettuce wrap uh tomatoes whatever you know it just i just i i do not think this counts as a hamburger i'm sorry i just don't i like to do the smash burgers with a low carb tortilla i mean I think there's probably a way you probably could do something like this with a tortilla. I don't think she did it. <laughs> I think she said, I'm going to make a regular like turd slash rock shaped hamburger and just willy nilly put it in a tortilla. Ooh, put the mac and cheese in the taco. Honestly, yeah. Oh, if you put like the mac and cheese and then and then put the 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 hamburger on top of it. Oh. Noel's home. <laughs> Noel's home. Noel's home. You good, Poe? You good? I think he's fine. <clears throat> you can you still hear him kind of though? Probably. Let's just keep going. We just gotta we gotta make it through this. I went ahead and steamed those in the microwave. For my frozen green beans, I just dump them in there. Does she have two different types of macaroni back there? Oh, wait. She just has the cheese sauce packets. This is just a Velveeta cheese sauce packet that she's putting on top of, like, some cooked elbow macaroni. Okay. I didn't know. I've always wondered. Because these, these moms always seem to have just, like, the Velveeta packets just chilling. I didn't realize you could buy it like that there I add a little bit of water and then i just add some w sauce some minced onions garlic powder paprika salt pepper and then i just microwave them until they're cooked to my liking um and then this We're was actually just luke and i beans. for this meal and so i just did a little bit of macaroni and then i thought out about a pound of ground beef which ended up making us three burgers wait so why it was are perfect we... for... wait can i ask why we're microwaving the green beans can, can I just ask? I would like clarification. That's not a judgment, just a clarifying question. Just the two of us. Now, how did they go from that shape to the shape we saw in the tortilla? 
Oh, is that him? Is that, is that whatever his name is? Is that him? Guy that hates the zucchini? Luke's just getting the burgers on the grill. He's okay. going to season that other side. Here is the bottle. I'm telling y'all, it is Lane's, and it's called Spellbound. Y'all know we, like, have a ton of seasonings. We love, this is, like, our all-time favorite one, and I will definitely try my best. I will link their website, or I will have them linked in my... That, that pot seems... <laughs> this is where people are going to be like, Zach, you're nitpicking. That pot seems a little big. A little big for how much pasta is in there. It's on storefront, but y'all definitely have to give that one a try. It is amazing. The spice combination in that is so, so good. So, mac and cheese, I just keep it simple. I was very limited on milk, but yeah, we had I keep enough. keep it simple, stupid. And I just boiled my noodles and then drain it. I add my milk and then I just add my Velveeta cheese sauce packet. She really love, did love, lie love when she said... Mallory, thanks so much for uh, subscribing with Prime. I appreciate it. She really did lie when she said there would be no cheese in this video. <laughs> she, this is the second thing with cheese. It's mix it up, add it in a little salt, a little pepper. Luke said that it was, I didn't need uh, mac and cheese for this meal, but Luke said it was good and it kind of helped balance out not having cheese on our burgers. <laughs> well, there you go. I just sat everything out. I had mine on my carb counter tortillas. Luke had his on some loaf of bread. Oh, they're carb counter tortillas. That's, <laughs> they're the low carb tortillas. That's why she was eating it on a tortilla. That's why, why she was eating it on a tortilla. Also that, Mac and cheese doesn't look good. I would eat it, but it doesn't look good. Well, I didn't have time to make any buns this night, but this was super good. Well, there you go. Wait, make buns? Does she make her own buns? I just... I'm so... I'm so alarmed. I wish she would have just, like, any kind of condiment. Any kind of, like... If she would have added lettuce, tomato, anything. <laughs> anything. Oops, I just clicked a button. I didn't mean to. All four of these delicious meals came from my fridge, my freezers, and my pantries. Well, where else would they come from? I loved that I was able to shop from home this past week, save us some money by not going to the grocery store and using what I have on hand. These recipes were so easy, absolutely delicious. I hope today's video inspires you guys to look through what you have on hand and make some delicious meals for your own family. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think the rest of this is just her, like, her music stuff that will get us copyright struck. So we're not going to listen to it, but damn, <laughs> what a day. <laughs> What a day. Also, to the person that was like, oh my God, Zach, this YouTube video is going to be an hour. And I was like, no, it's not. We've been recording this for nearly 58 minutes. So I got to go. I need to take the dogs out before I play Fortnite tonight. Um, but thanks, YouTube. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Okay, bye.